Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Jackson and this is your Golf Central update. Well, the PGA Tour heads to Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth, Texas, which has played host to the Charles Schwab Challenge since 1946, making it the longest running event on the PGA Tour held at the same location. Colonial was designed by Perry Maxwell, who also designed Southern Hills, which hosted the PGA Championship last year. And Michael Block, after his phenomenal performance at Oak Hill, some notes from Block's weekend has his tie for 15th was the best finish by a PGA professional at PGA Championship in the last 35 years. It also earned him a spot in the 2024 PGA Championship. Plus, it earned him a spot in some future PGA Tour events as well, like this week at the Charles Schwab Challenge. And here's Amy Rogers with more. Thanks, Anna. Michael Block hasn't just captured the attention of the golf world with his performance last week in the PGA Championship at Oak Hill. What he did has really transcended the sport. We've seen he's made the rounds in all the major national morning shows, and he said he has just not been able to get to the bottom of the emails, text messages, and social media messages that he has received since last week. But one message in particular did stand out when I asked him during his pre-tournament press conference here today at the Charles Schwab Challenge what has been the biggest surprise of the last few days. I mean, getting a text from Michael Jordan today, that's, I'm a big Jordan guy for my whole life. Uh, I was a little kid in Iowa saving 100 bucks for a pair of Jordans back in the day and uh, pretty darn cool, to say the least. Could you share what he had to say? Uh, it was something in the way that um, what he saw is why he loves the game of golf so much. I guess that answers my next question of the most unexpected person that you've heard from. <laughs> it's, it was him, for sure. Um, a lot of different people, though, have been hitting me up. A lot of people have been giving me support even before it happened. Um, one of my best friends that is Albert Pools, and uh, I was able to watch him. I went to most of all of the games uh, while he was a Dodger, which when he was close to me, um, and then would follow him around as a uh, St. Louis Cardinal too. And to be around him and to see what he did and at a similar age to me, um, and to watch his professionalism and his willpower. And I mean, to be around guys like that really, really helps. And uh, I also play a lot of golf with Patrick Cantley, who, as you know, is robotic. And uh, I'm the opposite. <laughs> the opposite, but at least I can put a little bit into that in my golf game and, uh, and learn from these absolutely uh, wonderful human beings and uh, athletes. I don't really know what the future is going to hold whatsoever. I'm not trying to guess what's going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. I just show up uh, on Thursday, tee it up with um, Min, which is a, a buddy of mine, which is great, so super comfortable pairing, and uh, just have fun. Just keep doing exactly what I've been doing, exactly what I did last week, and exactly how, honestly, I've lived my whole life. And whatever comes of it, comes of it, and I'll enjoy it one way or the other. I've got a great life both ways, so it's good. It's good all the way. And his response to Jordan, he said he just wants to be a part of one of his 36 whole games. Away from all the media attention, Block did get in a practice round here today at Colonial Country Club. He played alongside Bo Hostler, And Block said that the course really fits his eye. He said you have to hit it straight around here, and he really does like these greens. He will have a comfortable pairing for the first two days. He's going to be grouped with a, a friend of his in Min Woo Lee, and Pearson Cooty is also a part of that group. They will go off at 128 low time and based on the media attention that Block has received over these last few days, he will no doubt have one of the biggest galleries out here this week. Anna? That he will. Well, the wild ride continues. As you heard from Amy, Block continuing to make the rounds today, hanging out with one of the goats of the game, Annika Sorenstam, who is in town to celebrate the anniversary of her challenging the men on the PGA Tour. Well, over to the Women's NCAA Championships. Rose Zhang has put together two of the best collegiate seasons of all time. Last year, she won the individual national championship and helped Stanford win the team championship. And that was the consensus choice for the Annika Award presented by Stiefel. She won that award again earlier today, joining Leonie Maguire and Maria Farsi as two-time winners. 
Well, this week, the LPGA Tour heads to Shadow Creek in Las Vegas for the Bank of Hope LPGA match play. This is just the third edition of this event. Ali Ewing won back in 2021, and South Korea's Yoon Hee Ji is your defending champion. Play starts on Wednesday from Nevada. So with more, here's Grant Boone and Morgan Pressel. Hi there, Anna. An exclusive venue, Shadow Creek, hosts an exclusive event on the LPGA Tour. Just 64 players teeing it up in the Bank of Hope LPGA match play. The first three days, it's group play. You play each player in your group. And Morgan, as we look at the day one matchups, Lilia Vu really used this event to help springboard a terrific 2022, and we know what she's done since. Yeah, made it to the semifinals here last year. Loves match play, number one seed coming into this week. Two wins already under her belt this year. She is one to beat. One of those wins, of course, a major championship. One of the players in the spotlight this week, making her U.S. debut as an LPGA member, Lynn Grant, the super Swede who figures to be front and center when it comes to the Solheim Cup this fall. Groups 9 through 12, you see Jennifer Kupcho. Over in group 11, you see Emma Talley. A lot of players who've played Solheim Cup, U.S. amateur success. And you have some players looking to make it on that Solheim Cup team, just like Emma Talley. I know that's a big goal of hers this year. And a Nordquist is leading group 16. You saw Brooke Henderson's name, number eight in the world. She is with our Kay Cockrell. Well, we haven't seen Brooke Henderson for nearly a month. You last played on the LPGA at the Wilshire event. What have you been doing with your time for the last 30 or so days? Uh, yes, yeah, so it was a month back home in Canada. Unfortunately, I got sick uh, for a couple of weeks there, but I'm feeling much better now and excited to be back out here on tour. It was nice to get some time with my coach uh, last week in Canada and, you know, really get some good prep in and looking forward to coming out to this beautiful golf course and um, hopefully making a bunch of birdies and having a good time. Any specifics that you worked on with your game? Uh, you know, just trying to get the game rolling. So just a lot of consistency, um, just trying to, you know, not perfect necessarily, but, you know, get all parts of the game rolling. And, you know, this week there's going to be a lot of golf being played, um, a lot of matches, hopefully. So I think that'll be good to kind of spark uh, the determination and kind of the competitive juices again and get ready for a big, long stretch the rest of the summer. This is a match play tournament. What do you like about match play and what in your game potentially makes you a really good match player? You know, growing up in Canada, we didn't get to play a ton of match play events. Um, when I was a young junior, I did a little bit. And then, you know, the USAM was always a, a big event for me. And, you know, being a finalist there, I feel like I kind of learned um, a few different strategies uh, to take into match play. But, you know, the bottom line is you have to play solid golf um, and you got to be a tough competitor. And hopefully I can do that then over the next few days. All right. Well, thanks for your time and good luck this week. Awesome. Thank you, Kay. Grant. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Brooke. It's going to be a bit warmer than Canada. It is going to be hot, really high temperatures. If you make it to the finals, you will have played seven matches, so a long week as well in the heat. And it all begins with first round coverage tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time on Golf Channel and Peacock. Can't wait to bring you the third playing of the Bank of Hope LPGA match play. Anna? Thank you both. Well, perhaps we'll see some of the future stars of the LPGA compete tomorrow. It is the biggest day in women's college golf. The final of the 2023 NCAA Women's National Championships coverage starts on College Central at 4.30 p.m. to get you set for the final championship match, which gets underway at 5 p.m. Eastern here on Golf Channel. Have a great night. We will see you there.